On our family, you're tuned in to Real Last Real Radio 104.1, your nightcap of comedy. My name is Ken Miller. I am in the big chair tonight. We appreciate you guys so much for listening in all week. Join the virtual studio with James, John, Jeff Kaufman, and Miguel Colon Jr. But we do have a special guest. What? Chilling with us on StreamYard. She will be at the Orlando Improv this weekend, November 25th and 26th. Put your hands together and show your love for Zarna Gark. Thank you. Thanks for sitting in with us. Namaste. Thank you so much for having me. This is so fun. Thank you. We appreciate it. I can't place your accent. Where in Texas are you from? (laughs) (laughs) You know, you would think I'm from Texas, the state that I'm from in India. (laughs) It's about the same same state of women out there. Oh, wow. Donna. Bang bang! <laughs> Donna will be at the improv this weekend, so she's kicking with us. She did um Tom and Dan last week. She's doing the monsters um this week. So we appreciate okay. Zona. We start every show off the same way. We have to know your origin story. How long have you been doing comedy and where did you start and how was your first ever show? Uh, I started in New York City. I live in New York City. I've been doing comedy about five years. And uh, I got started because my kids ganged up on me and challenged me to try something new. Because for 16 years, I was a stay at home mom and I was yelling at them, you try something new, you try something, you should try. So then they're like, oh, my mom's too scared to try something new. And they basically Uh... made me go to an open mic because they thought I was funny. And, you know, as an Indian woman, you're like, what do you do with funny? Funny is nothing to us. We don't believe in humor because humor means have fun. Indian people don't believe in fun. That see, Zona, I'm a, I'm a disagree because I have been to Indian weddings, and every time I'm at an Indian wedding, I'm like, I can't believe y'all just met yesterday because there's so much love in this thing. You know? We we put on a good show when we're getting rid of our girls. That's there you go. I like it. In, in, in the Indian wedding, there's only one side of the wedding that's actually partying. It's the girl side. The guy side is like ready to cry. Oh. Uh, but, but my kids challenged me and I went to an open mic and I had honestly had no idea that stand-up comedy is a job. I mean, what? Yeah. I got up on stage. I was like, this is a job? Like wow. people do this for money? What? Yeah, that's how our families treat us too. They're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. My wife, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, get a job. I'm like, I'm making people yeah. laugh. They're like, you yeah. could be something for with yourself. Yeah. Yeah. My wife let people know my husband got a job. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. People are like, when can you go get a job? My wife be like, my husband got a job. What are you talking about? <laughs> how was the show? How was the first show? How was it? Oh, incredible. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. I really went up raw and the uh, host told me just just say whatever makes you laugh, whatever you think is funny, say that. It was an open mic to start, the first open mic. Uh And I was like, anything? And she's like, yeah, anything, whatever comes. I was like, I'm gonna trash my mother-in-law. That's, oh, wow. the, right? That's the most natural thing that comes out of my brain. How to talk, right? <laughs> like, I'm just ready. Go. Just say go and I can go for an hour. And gotcha. people loved it. Of course, you know, the whole mother-in-law thing is so universal. And uh, I was, you know, I learned then that you you start by doing something called a bringer show. And I was told if I brought five people, I could have a spot on a show. I remember putting a flyer up and 96 people showed up. Yeah. Wow. Because Indian women don't do what I'm doing. So it was so exciting for people that an Indian woman is going to be trashing her mother-in-law. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were the Malala of comedy? Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, Zarna, let me ask. Uh, I, I had read that, that you grew up, you grew up in, in, in Mumbai. Yeah. When you were growing up, were you a fan of comedy or like stand up as well? Or was it something that later on came to be a fan of? I, I, ne- I didn't even know stand up comedy existed as an art form. In fact, people don't know right now. I work in the comedy cellar in New York City every night. And I'm Mm, usually waiting outside in between sets. And the amount of Indian people who stop by and ask me, they're like, does stand-up comedy mean we have to stand up? (laughs) Wow. (laughs) They don't know. This this art form is so new to my people. So, uh, no, never been exposed to it. Never been inside a club until I went to perform. That's so interesting. 
Yo, yeah. so I, I text you today, uh, hey, give me some topics and stuff. And you told me you have a, a your hour special coming out in January called One in a Billion, going to be streaming yeah. worldwide. Yeah. Five nice. years in and got an hour special. How, how did that come about for you? So, I mean, I, I feel funny saying it. My whole life, people have said you're funny to me. And mm -hmm. I've been the one who was always recruited to do funny speeches at weddings. No one's listening to a speech at an Indian wedding, but I had to do them because I was funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you see in these weddings? They are big, chaotic, messy affairs. I was always recruited <laughs> to do stuff at charity events and stuff. I just didn't know that that's what stand-up comedy was. I've been doing that my whole life, and you know, and I have like every immigrant in America, I have my own upside-down story of how I made it to America, mm -hmm. and humor was a big part of surviving and using it as a weapon like a lot of places a lot of doors open for me because people knew i would keep things funny there you go nice so, nice so which is why my all american kids were like mom you're funny you should just do this and i was like that's not like what what do you do with funny that's not like being a doctor now <laughs> now <laughs> I, I, how many kids do you actually have I have so many. Don't even ask. It's oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> an Indian woman. You know that's our thing. Like we just keep keep producing. I like uh, it. I have three kids. I have a nineteen year old, a sixteen year old, and a ten year old. Oh, nice. I actually have four kids. And here's the thing: I want to ask you, parent to parent. We're both comedians. Are yeah. your kids proud of you as a comedian? Do they tell their friends, "My mom's a comedian"? Well, first of all, they don't have a choice. They have to be. <laughs> like let's just get that started they live in my house i pay for their bills they have to be proud of me it's required amen amen second of all they all run my tech they manage my tiktok my instagram because i believe in hashtag believe in child labor <laughs> <laughs> whoever said that that was a bad idea that person needs to go i love it <laughs> ask a mother she will tell you put the kids to work Yes. Uh, I think my kids love what I do. Their friends love. They, this is why I do clean comedy. This okay. is why I want to do shows where families can come out. I fought so hard for Orlando Improv, made their early show on Friday an all ages show because I fought for it. Because wow. there's so few places for all of us to go and laugh together. I call it the mostly clean show just in case one bad word slips out. But what gotcha. kid in what kid has not heard one bad word? If you live in the streets of New York, hey. you've heard it. Hey, yeah. And just know I'm her feature. Yeah. So <laughs> <you know. laughs> hey, it might be me. Yeah. Hey, Zarna, if hey, you need me to get you a list me. of other <laughs> comics just in case something goes wrong, we'll have them on standby. Mm. Hey, I've now, done I'm an all so show with Preacher. To have, yeah. I'm I, so I've done excited them. to have Ken. I've heard all the amazing buzz about him i can't wait to work with him no nice. yeah, still i said that nice. one bad word yeah. um. <laughs> any of y'all boobs ever what's that what's the light for <laughs> <laughs> hey zara have you ever read your wikipedia yeah it says uh, cnbc said the zany outspoken voice of the indian american woman yeah you you feel that way about you you really think that's well, you? the thing is that i didn't know that that's what i was when you're a stay-at-home mom as long as i am living under that rock you assume that everybody is doing everything and you just don't know about it. So mm. when I started doing comedy, I didn't know I was the only woman of my kind on this whole planet Earth doing what I do. <laughs> so, you true. know, trashing my husband came so naturally. To Wow. <laughs> hey, Zonda, do you like honestly though like do you feel pressure sometimes for being like an asian comedian a woman comedian from outside people wanting of wanting course. you to be something you're not of course and i can i tell i'm told all the oh you're a trailblazer you're a pioneer and i'm like i'm not a pioneer martin luther king had dreams i just have bills <laughs> I'm just trying to work. <laughs> Yo, the struggle is real. <laughs> right? Am I? Where's the lie? Like honestly, yeah. I'm just trying to work and put some good shit. And of course, during the pandemic, it, it that's when it all became real. I had okay. just gotten started. I had all these sold out shows at Caroline's, and then the world shut down. I was like, of course, my mother in law strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> I blame the entire global pandemic on her. People thought it was the bats in China. No, no, no. It was the rat in in India. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me ask two guys, Zarna. Uh, 
how do how do like family members of yours back in Mumbai and other parts of India, how do they react to this? Because I think, like you said, in the United States, there's like a draw. There's people who don't think comedy has a job. And then there's people like, oh, my God, you're a comedian. That's the, that's the greatest thing ever. What do you find when you tell your family back home? Well, it went from like, what are you doing? This is not a job. Why are you a lawyer? I'm a licensed lawyer in New York. They're like, why aren't you just doing that? I was like, I'm really bad at it. <laughs> I, I oh. got my own clients arrested. I was like, okay, this, is not good. this is probably not a good move. You know what I mean? So I was That's like, funny. I need to do something else. But we went from what is this to now. Every day, I swear, a new relative calls me. They're like, trash my neighbor, trash my sister. <laughs> nice. They're sending me joke ideas every day. My WhatsApp is blowing up now. That's hilarious. <laughs> you got a, you have 100 million views on TikTok. I'm assuming you're, do, you write out everything yourself, but do your kids have any input in it since they run your social media? Of course, because they do dumb things all the time. Listen, Amen. if you're a Amen. parent, you know it's a non-stop stream of dumb things. Mm -hmm. And I just do a good job of pitting one against the other because, you know, <laughs> divide and conquer. I learned that yep. from the British. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we got to go in the way the masters did it. You know, see how they divided countries. I do the same thing with my kids and I make one record the other without the one knowing. That's funny. It's called now, the old colonizer done, you've done, trick. Yeah. You've done a lot of work, and you said, you know, I got on stage and just talk about my parents, you know. But you got to spend a lot of time writing too. It's not yeah. just like go up and I'm, you know, I tell stories. Yeah. I mean, you don't get that good from you know just hey, let me wing this. No, yeah. I'm I am a, a little bit of a purist in that way. Like once I realized what stand up comedy jo was and what writing a joke was, I kind of took it on like a real challenge. And my, my act is all jokes, like from beginning to end. It's like, it just comes at, at jet speed because, you know, I know people are spending their hard earned money coming to these clubs. It's, it's a night out. I've been there. I've been where you hired the babysitters. Now I just leave them. I'm like, fine, one of you, you know. <laughs> one of you. But, but back in the day, I've been down that road. So I take it very seriously and I work on my craft every night. Uh, I'm working every single night in New York City when I'm not on the road. So, you know. Uh, well, look, that's but dope. also being a mom. She Jay-Z. Yeah. She, yeah. Jay <laughs> she say, man, I get on stage, man. I got, I'm the Jay-Z of comedy. So that's last right. year at Halloween, I was Z Diddy. <laughs> oh man, Zana, you are a treat. Um, you are so I came say you're funny and, and you are so fun. Zana, Zana Garg will be at the Orlando Improv this weekend. It's Thanksgiving weekend, November 25th and 26th. Get, you don't even like your family that much. Yeah. You know, oh, come out to comedy. Like there's a great excuse to leave the family. Be like, yeah. I gotta, I got the Zonda oh. Guard tickets. There you go. I gotta go. Come on, man. Zonda, go. stay in a hotel. We got a minute left. Mama, can you go ahead and tell everybody where they can find you at? James, you got something? That's oh, exactly you... what I was gonna ask. Yeah, we yeah. got a minute Her left. Media. Media. Where you can they can find, find you at? You can find me everywhere on every major platform at Zana Garg. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, OnlyFans, Be Real. Uh, <laughs> I, I put my kids on everything. Uh, and you know, listen, you not only do you have to avoid, you can avoid your family this weekend. You also don't have to cook because guess what? Orlando Improv has you covered. Yep. There you go. We got food. We got food. That is Ms. Zonagarg. Once again, Zonagarg will be at the Orlando Improv this weekend, November 25th, 26th. Ken Miller will be your feature act. And our homegirl, Shireen Kazan, will be emceeing. So we appreciate it. Zona, thank you so much for kicking with us. And I will see you Friday. I will see Very you. Nice. Thank you so much. Everybody, please join us. No Thank problem. Thank you yo. so we gotta, much. Hey, we got to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Real last. We're Radio 104.1.